Hello my fellow Americans, today we're going to be talking about another what you can do for life and the things you come across in it. Okay, so this is something that I saw on Twitter, as you'll see, and I just thought this was a good example of what some people would call an extreme reaction, but I don't think so. I don't think they got very violent. I think that what they did was very common sense, almost a self-defense sort of thing. So let's look at that real quick. Let's see, as soon as I can get this up, this is going to cover my whole screen. So here we go. All right. Let's see if I can get this to play. So I'm sorry it doesn't have sound just right yet. I'll figure it out in just a second. <laughs> I can just tap the video and it'll show up. As you can see, they are removing people from the road. Yeah, here we go. To let people pass by. And these people are there protesting for some sort of environmentalism. I can't believe they get back in the road. So you can see people are upset, of course, I would be upset too if you sat in the road like a child like this. See, these guys are being moved, but they're not being hurt. Nobody's beating them up. They're just picking them up and moving them off the road like you would a kid who's been sitting somewhere you don't want them to. You just very nicely pick them up and move them away. That one guy did get a little rough when he when he, he grabbed that girl's hair, but she is causing a major disturbance here. All right, pause. Okay, so I don't think that's a terrible reaction to what they were doing. Okay, so basically. Here's why. I think this is something you can do and it'd be fine. Oh, started playing again. Hold on. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, let me close it. We'll go from there. Staff. Okay. And here's why. He, nobody got beat up. Nobody probably got scraped, but nobody got beat up. They weren't trying to get people, you know, basically nobody got beat up. Nobody really got hurt. Uh, what these people were doing could seriously get them hurt. They could get run over. Okay. Somebody just flips a switch just that easy and they're upset about what they're doing and they get run over just that easy. Okay. This thing that they're doing is very dangerous. It does not improve anything for their cause. It doesn't help them get anywhere for anything. All they're doing is being a disturbance. So the people got out and moved them. Now, of course, you have to be careful with things like this, you know, because technically that is, um, excuse me. Oh, what's it called? Assault. Simple assault. In America, just putting your hands on somebody is simple assault. Like you can be charged. So I'm not saying go out and do this every single time, but when people are causing this level of disturbance when they are causing actually probably uh, when <laughs> you know they could harm other people basically just move them just move them as peacefully as you can as easily as you can you can just move them where i grew up out in the southwest or i say out west because that's what it is to me where i grew up out west it was not uncommon for people to take justice into their own hands and what I mean by that is for example we had gangs start to move in and you know where I lived had one cop that's it he was chief deputy everything one guy okay so we as the community had to stand up to whatever was going on so when the gangs moved in 
the teenagers and adults would do what they needed to to get these gang members to stop tagging our buildings to stop stealing to stop forming gangs to stop doing that and one of the things that they did do and again i don't know names or anything i just know it was in the in the town newspaper was beat up some of these kids because these kids started coming after them for chasing them away for doing all of their graffiti and things like that so i don't think it's wrong for the people in a community county whatever to take the measures they need to to make sure their their county community is safe okay now that being said people would then say well then what's wrong with the riots and everything else that people are doing because isn't that those people trying to keep their community safe i would argue that it's not because unlike in this situation where they just moved people aside they weren't beating them up they weren't kicking them they weren't trying to run over them with their cars they just moved them right so unlike that situation the the riots that happened in america one were not done by people who lived in the area this these were not people who wanted to who lived in the area and wanted it, wanted it to get better two the riots burned everything down or lost uh, business owners their business because they came in and they were looted none of that helps your community none of that does okay so something like um you can do a citizen's arrest right you can do citizens arrest and take them to the cops so i have seen that happen in my life as well when i was young and i lived out west we did that sort of thing uh, there is a true story of a man in a in, that lived down in a city you know, i wish i could remember like specifics and stuff but this is always my go-to story because it is a true story and the people did have to do this so <clears throat> basically it's like this there's a man he lives in a town and he was the bane of the existence of these people so he would beat people up he would steal things from them he would molest people he would do all kinds of things somehow he got a dad to to give permission to marry his daughter somehow um and the uh the law could not touch him all right so mainly because they did not have anyone who was brave enough to stand up and be a witness and even when they did they had people standing up and saying well no they lie because he was with me all right so take that as you are um this man then had children with this woman that he somehow got to marry him and was teaching those children to be that way at a certain point the people of this town could no longer take it or city i can't remember which one it is i think it's a town could no longer take it called him got him to come out to get some beer or something like that and in his truck they captured him in his truck and beat the crap out of him I think they either killed him or almost killed him that sort of thing is fine by me why because it's self-defense okay that's why the bible is okay with you doing self-defense when i read the story about the women who were basically raped and beaten to death or the woman you know i was saying uh that um god is gray got the whole story wrong she doesn't even understand the story and everything else the jews came to that town and destroyed it right because of these roving gangs of guys that was that was their message to them not to hurt us okay not to deal with us in that way so i'm not saying go out and kill people okay i want you to understand me i am not saying that but what i am saying is that it is okay for a town or a city who doesn't have another way of dealing with this for the people to then decide how to deal with it and i think that's fine i do understand that it can get out of hand i mean 
as things get out of hand. This, I think that these people sitting on the road as things getting out of hand. I think they instigated this by doing that. Okay. That is not what a peaceful protest is. If they wanted to stand on the side of the road with their signs, they could have done that. They didn't. Instead, they put themselves in harm's way. They put other people in a potential harm's way and they just acted like children. So these adults in these cars had to come out and deal with them like children. It is a sad reality, I think, that sometimes cops, well, most of the time, cops and the justice system, things like that, just don't, they just don't, they can't, there are times where they can't do anything. Their hands are tied or they can't get there. Like if they had called the cops, the cops could not get there in time to do anything. So do I think they should have called the cops too? Yes, I do. But I also think that their reaction is normal. Again, I don't want anybody out there beating each other up. I don't want you going out there and being like, well, the cops can't get here, so I'll just kill them. Don't do that. It shouldn't be the first thing you do. But I don't think there's a problem with taking this kind of action when it's it's just you and these other people and you have to take action quickly. All right. And I think we have laws for that. So if, for example, you can do a citizen's arrest and that is okay. All right. That is a legit arrest. Usually you can, you are required in some states to render aid. If you do not render aid, then you are, then you are subject to uh, recourse by the, by the law. All right, so there are certain, there we do provide for ourselves through the law and through other things for you or we the people to take action. All right, the second amendment a lot of times is quoted as, you know, we keep and bear arms so that we can form a militia to protect ourselves, not only from foreign um, actors, but those at home who would take our freedoms away from us. So I, I believe that the Bible and the way we set up our laws is, um, civilly centered, whereas it's not supposed to be just the cops policing things. You and I are supposed to be standing up and helping each other too. All right. And in a lot of ways, this was helping other people because there are people who don't know what anything that's going on way, way in the back and Everybody's just trying to get to work. They're trying to get their kids to a hospital. Maybe they're trying to get to the hospital because they're sick. These people sitting in the road have just, they, they are starting to hurt people because of the way they did that. So again, I'm not even upset that they're protesting. They're allowed to protest in my mind, but the way that you do it does matter. Okay. So anyway, I wanted to show you that as something you can do this sort of this sort of thing is something you have to sort of gauge while you do it but it is something totally okay we the people are in charge of our area we're the ones that make it what it is by voting by just as we go out here in the world and we help each other by stopping something you know, sometimes if you can just de-escalate something, cops don't even have to be called. You can just be the one to de-escalate something if you know how to do that by, you know, being a protector, you know, all of these things make it so that the people around you are safer and you are safer. So anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. You guys let me know what you think. Sorry, I'm not using my mouse. So this is all weird for me right now. So anyway, uh, let me know what you think down in the comments, my fellow Americans. I know that there's a fine line. What do you think? Is there a fine line or do you, should you not do this at all? And uh, remember to pray and read your Bible and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.